Done with your workout and looking for a cool down? Join me as we take our body and put it back into place. So if you need a little bit of help or cushioning, feel free to put a yoga mat or a towel or something else just to give a little support to your knees. But start with your knees about hip width apart and then take your right foot out at that hip level. So we're not going to bring it in like a tightrope. I want you thinking of train tracks. From here, take your hands on your hips, tuck your hips forward, lean forward and, you, and squeeze your glute. What we're doing here is we are stretching our hip flexor, that psoas muscle, as well as giving greater ankle mobility. Then take that back and do a split squat. You are straightening that leg and stretching your hamstring. I'm going to do this once more from the side so you can see my ankle and see it from the side view. So ankles right under your knee, tuck your hips forward and lean forward. Now, what do you need to stretch today? Maybe you need to stretch your hip flexor so you don't go down as far, but you really focus on tucking and flexing that glute. Maybe your feet are bothering you. So if that's the case, allow yourself to go down a bit further and keep that heel on the ground. You don't wanna come up. As soon as that heel starts to come up, then I want you to elevate yourself a little bit more. But the more that we can have a greater range of motion in our Achilles, in our ankle, that's going to help our foot. Now, just like I talked about in the stretching video, we can hold these for a little bit longer. Personally, I don't tend to hold my stretches very long simply because I don't have the patience. So if you're like me, keep moving with this. Otherwise, you can take something, pause it, hold it for longer if you need to. There is no rule that you have to stay with me. I'm going to come back up in that facing you position and I'm going to take that front foot and take it out to the side. Now my foot is facing forward, not to the side, facing forward and it's in line with my knee. From here, come down to your hands and I want you to tune in to how your body feels. I like to have and I really want you to try and feel a stretch in your inner thigh, your adductor. You may feel this right like this. You may find that taking your tailbone back and up, you feel a little bit more of a stretch. Wherever that is, play around with it, find it. There's no formula here. You've got to meet your body where it is. From there, take your left hand and reach under toward your right toe. You may not have a lot of mobility, a lot of flexibility. I don't have a ton, but I've got enough. And so just, again, play around with that. I kind of like to rock a little bit. What do you like to do? Okay, coming back up, let's elevate back up to our knees and get our other side. So left leg out in front, tuck that tailbone under and lean in. So again, what do you need to stretch? If you need to stretch your hip flexor, you might stay a little more elevated. You can take your hands on your knees. You can take your hands on the floor. When I do that, I find that I lose a little bit of activation in that glute, which stretches my hip flexor less. However, it gives me a little bit more range of motion in my ankle. So you can do this and do it differently both times and that's okay. What does your body need more of today? Now take that back, straighten that front left leg and take your hips up and away. Now I have a tendency to come in here because this is a tight side for me. I don't have a lot of flexibility. Probably if I held my stretches longer, I would have more, but I don't need to be the most flexible person. I just need to be able to do the things that I love to do. All right, take that foot out. So let's come up, left foot out, facing front in line with that right knee. Take, come down to your hands. You can come down to your elbows if you want, what works for you. Take your left hip and press it down and you're gonna feel a little bit deeper stretch in that inner thigh, that adductor. Now take your right hand, bring it through and get a bit deeper stretch. Feels so good. All right, come up to your hands and knees. 
hands right under your shoulders, knees right under your hips. Take your left hand on top of your right hand, round your back, and take your left hip away from your left hand. You should feel a great stretch from your left hip all the way up through your lats into your shoulder and up. Now you can make this a little more dynamic even though we're at the end of our workout and like I talked about in a previous video, you wanna save your static stretching, the stretches that you hold until the end, you can still do dynamic. I kinda of tend to do a little bit of a, an Amy style mix. All right, come up, let's do the other side. So reset, take your right hand over your left hand, round your back and take your right hip away from your right hand all along you are getting your lats you're getting oh, so much it feels so good to me all right i'm going to make this a little dynamic so going down and up if you've done any kind of pull today and i hope you have because they're so important especially as women it's so important to do any kind of pulling motion next up let's roll over onto our back all the way down, bend your knees, cross your right ankle over your left knee. This may be enough of a stretch. If it is, keep it here. Otherwise, reach under and grab underneath your left hamstring. I like to take my right hand very gently right above my knee and press that knee in. What that's doing is that's giving me a deeper stretch in my deep glutes on my right side. So again, play around with that. If you wanna kind of do a little bit of movement, find where you need that deeper stretch, that's fine. From here, if you're ready, take that same figure four that we're in and just and open up your arms and take that over to the left side. So your right foot is coming down to your left side keeping your right shoulder on the ground. So if your right shoulder starts to come up, then lift up your leg. So I really want you to keep that shoulder on the ground. That way you'll stretch your pectorals, your chest muscle a little bit more. Play around with your head. Which way do you wanna face? What feels right to you? For me, when I look away from my right hand, I seem to get a bit deeper stretch in my right pectoral. All right, come on up and down. Cross your left leg over your right knee. If you're ready, reach under and grab underneath the back of your right leg. This is also your hamstring. And like I said, I like to kind of press into that above the knee. Don't go right on the joint, but just above it. Nice, gentle pressure. And you can Make it a little more dynamic if you want. Not bouncy bouncy, but just gently pressing it, kneading it, I guess, if you want to say that. And then take your hands out to the side and rotate your spine, taking your left foot over to the ground. Keep that left shoulder blade on the ground now. You can look toward your left hand or away for a deeper pectoral stretch. So again, what works for you? Take another kind of deep breaths. Now I will say that in my signature course, Be Complete, we do hold stretches for a lot longer because that is one of the core tenets of taking care of ourselves. Bring both knees into your chest, hug it up, do a little rock back and forth, and then don't forget to roll out your ankles. That's just so important for maintaining that ankle mobility. If you have feet issues, it may be that you just need to move your feet around a little bit more. Come on up to a seating position and roll it up or however you want to come up. Let's just sit cross-legged. Take your hands out. Inhale up. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up. And let all of the air out and I like to release all the pressure from my chest. One more time in. Bring your hands together. 
all the way down, being grateful for what we have done today, all that we can do. Hey, if this content was valuable to you, will you hit the like button? And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can continue getting grace-filled ways to take care of your physical, mental, and spiritual health. That's all for today. Go out there and have a grace day.